What's going on guys? It's Mike Gray. Welcome to the channel. This video is sponsored by KEH Camera. Alright guys, so we're going to switch it up for this video. I want to start by saying this was a phenomenal experience. My first time doing something like this and um, I'm super excited. We are here in the lovely Burbank, California. It is nice and brisk. The air is clean. Oh. My favorite time of the year, fall, winter. Come on now, especially the Cali winters, but that's neither here nor there. I'm able to put on my uh, wool fleece and uh, hop in the studio. We are here, as I said, in Burbank. We're shooting in studio today. And what's so unique about this shoot is it's something that I've never done before. Um, I've used constant light continuously in a lot of my shoots and I love constant lighting. Uh, and we will be bringing that aspect in today's shoot but we're going super artsy with it using a lot of colors the, the lighting is going to be a, a little bit more uh, elevated on this one i want to thank my homie bailey for coming through and doing all the lighting on this shoot yeah we're shooting the lovely hannah as you guys know y'all already know hannah's bringing the heat today as well as my buddy isaiah later on in the second half of the day who will be bringing some heat as well so you know what come on y'all y'all just just follow me uh, a little bit uh this is the lovely space that we're shooting at um and yeah it's gonna be a fun one today don't don't look at that uh, oh today's video is sponsored by keh don't get it twisted get with it or get lost you know this was my really first time shooting in a studio like this uh, we get there everything's super cool we get set up and we get locked out and that was an unfortunate event because we were locked out for about 45 minutes and we could not get in the studio but luckily you know nick found you know some of the characteristics of his past life and used a knife and a credit card to break back in the studio where we did have the light set up we won't judge him we won't um ask him any questions on where he learned those techniques but he got us in which is the most important thing you know there was a lot of complications with this shoot only because before i got to take the first shot a lot of things messed up we forgot to go get the flowers from the flower shop so we had to improvise, grab some flowers in the alley. The fog machine, which was, in my opinion, probably one of the most exciting characteristics of this shoot. Without the fog, you know, I don't feel the shots would have turned out the same. Well, I was super excited about the fog machine. There's a fuse knob back here. I'm trying to figure out, and why does this remote have A, B, C, D on it? The fog machine wouldn't turn on. So with that, I was almost like, questioning the entire experience yes yes voila this shit works so i chose the Hasselblad 500 because i wanted to test my abilities uh, as far as composition is concerned in this environment uh, i have not used this in this vibe and i just honestly haven't used this camera too much since i've gotten it and i've wanted a reason to use it so this is that reason we're using the 80 millimeter um, f 2.8 lens and we got the prism finder on here per usual uh, and i will be using the pentax 67 as y'all know uh, but i'm going to try to make this camera my secondary camera today um, we all know what's gonna happen, but I'm going into this shoot with the positive mindset of this will be my camera. And then last but not least, and the Pentax wanted to die on me. 
That's why you bring more than one option. The photo guy said we're forcing him to use this camera. Didn't get to shoot one shot. But it's fine because the Hasselblad came in the damn clutch. Aside from that, we made magic. And I couldn't have made magic without these people. Nick on video, as y'all already know. I wanna start by saying, because this was a very light, heavy video and, and it really relied on great lighting for the images that I wanted to make, you know, I knew that I needed an experienced gaffer who really knew what they were doing. Like, usually y'all know I'll bring the Ari out, we'll have the tungsten lighting, and I'll just point it at the damn subject and we'll figure out how to make it look decent for film. But I knew I wanted to do something outside of the box, so Bailey came in the clutch. As far as the models, Hannah came in. Y'all know who she is, she absolutely kills it every time. You know, with the wardrobe in particular with this shoot, I wanted simplicity. So with the first look with Hannah, we did a super sick latex outfit with her. No jewelry, but I wanted everything simple for the lighting. The first look we did, super sick spotlight with the tungsten light and then Bailey added like a red fill, which looked beautiful. We also had fog in the background and I had no clue, you know, what the name or the direction that I wanted to go with lighting. I just kind of told Bailey the idea that I had and that's the benefit of having an experienced gaffer because you literally can tell them a very vague idea and then they can make something out of nothing. And that's exactly what he did. One of my favorite shots was Hannah with her head back with the red fill on her face, eyes closed. You can see some smoke texture in the background. Super contrasty. I love the shadows all around her head, but also how there's a nice fill on her face. Such a beautiful photo. And I'm, I mean, I, I loved a lot of these. I mean, I'm not gonna go in too much of detail with every photo, but killed it with this first look. We played around with her standing. We played around with her sitting down. As far as the photo I get printed, I'd probably say it would be Hannah with her head back with the red fill on her face. Super beautiful photo and more of my vibe as far as like the artistic aspect of the image. Now the second look we did was super simple, blue dress, and we played around with the spotlight of the tungsten lighting. We didn't use color for this. We may have used, well, we, I feel like we used a yellow fill maybe towards the end, but at the beginning, we just had a simple spotlight. With the lighting on this, I knew that I wanted full body. So we played with the spotlight. We played with like a, a, a thin beam going, you know, angled on her face. I really love the photo of her kind of with her head towards the camera with the beam going down the right side of her face, down her nose to her chin. That's, I mean, it's more of a portrait, but um, such a sick photo. Honestly, here's the thing. Because I get Emicon scans, it can get expensive um, with, with stuff like this, you know. Um, usually I will get regular scans, but with images that I, that I plan to add to my book, or that I plan to get printed, I, I wanna get them scanned the best way possible. I will say that a lot of these photos I truly enjoyed. Uh, super, super stoked on how these came out. Hannah, thank you, you did your thing, as always. Second model who came in was a freshman to the Mike Gray Film channel. So right now, Bailey is killing it per usual in there. We're changing the colors, we're changing the vibe, still using the same lighting sources but we do have my homie Isaiah who's here, who's gonna be uh, giving us a different look, different perspective. Uh, Isaiah B. Howard, my homie. I knew with him, this is a look that I've been planning uh, with this dude for a minute. I wanted to do a super simple 60s army veteran or army soldier, right? But because of the lighting, of course, I wanted everything super simple. So I could have gone out and got you know, a whole 60s army wardrobe, you know, uh, jacket, you know, socks, boots, whatever. But because of the lighting, like I said, I wanted everything to be raw, bare, natural. So we just used the hat to symbolize that he is, you know, in some sort of military and then no shirt, pants, no socks, no shoes. And the inspiration came from my grandfather serving in the Vietnam War in the 60s. Shouts out to all the troops serving for us now. So with him, whew, it's not 
not a difficult selection. We did a totally different look. The first look we did was more of a silhouette with the tungsten lighting beaming on each side of his body. He had the prayer hands up. Such a beautiful shot, man. Um, that's, that's I will tell you right now, that's the print. 100% going in my book. Uh, there will be a few of these going in the book, but that was my favorite fine art photo of the bunch. Like I said, Bailey was able to hop in there, put a different modifier in there and change the entire vibe of the lighting which, you know, I do want to learn. Even moving forward, it would be easy to be able to, to say the correct terms to just get the look off top. But, you know, we didn't have to do that because we had a fire gaffer. Um, so we did that look, which was super artsy. And then we did some shots of Isaiah saluting, you know, getting that emotion from him, more portrait style. We had the beam going down, you know, a specific part of his face. Man, super sick. With this, we played more so with the tungsten and orange colors instead of like reds. You know, I wanted that cinematic, not necessarily nostalgic, but I knew that the Cinestill with tungsten would give me the perfect cinematic vibe that I was looking for. And um, I just love how this film reacts to oranges and, and, and yellows. We, we, we shot some super up close shots. There's this one beautiful shot that's more of a yellow feel, but it has a streak going down the perfect side of his face. It's like dreamy and angelic in a sense. And I, I love that. But so many of these came out sick. So for the last look, we did a simple modernized look that he wanted to do. We just got a lot of cool photos. Um, I probably won't get any of the modernized looks printed from him. You know, we got some super cool shots for him. And in all, this experience was number one eye-opening and I respect all of the photographers who primarily shoot this way because it's so much that goes into it. You need a team, you need people who are knowledgeable of their craft. It's more work that goes into it. You know, um, it's 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 not as easy as just stepping outside and taking a few photos and calling it a day. It's, you really have to plan and um, know what you want. And I love this, and I definitely want to go more uh, in this direction. Some from time to time, you know, just to mix things up because I know what I usually do. But I honestly want to cover a lot of different sectors. I want to do a lot of different things. I don't want my photography to be stagnant. Um, and I enjoy doing new things and that's what it's all about. Just so for me personally as an artist, I love to try new things and get good at different things. And you know, this was very cool to experience because this showed me that I can do this sort of stuff if I wanted to, you know, even though I don't know a damn thing about lighting, you know, <laughs> I know somebody who does and they can help me out. So. This was a super fun experience. Uh, I want to thank everybody again who came and helped make this happen. Um, everybody's links will be in the description below. Shouts out to Hasselblad. Shouts out to Cinestill. Shouts out to KEH. Oh, now let's quickly go into a commercial break. KEH Camera is your one-stop online shop for cameras, lenses, accessories, and so much more. When it comes to cameras, especially film cameras, quality is super important. With their extensive rating system, you're able to know the exact condition the camera is in before buying. They also have a 180-day warranty as well as a risk-free 21-day return policy on many of the products available for purchase. And speaking of purchasing, the holidays are coming up. So any of that old gear that you may have collecting dust that you don't use, sell it to KEH, get some extra bucks in your pocket because I know money will be spent this holiday season. Thanks so much again to KEH for sponsoring this video. Thanks again guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you. Please like the video if you rocked with it. Shouts out to YouTube for getting rid of the dislike button in a few weeks. Um, all y'all haters who are in your mama's basement watching the videos, taking time to comment negative stuff on other people's videos, you guys will suffer now. And I want you guys to please comment 
on the video. What photos did you like? Have you tried this technique before? Do you enjoy in studio constant lighting photography? I'd love to get your, your, your feedback on that because it's something that I didn't think about prior. I do have a newfound respect for this and I wanna do more of it, simple as that. And subscribe, please. We need to get to 100K. We hit 20 now, thank you to everybody who's constantly supporting. But it's time for 100, not 50, it's 20 to 100. Please, I greatly appreciate it. Spread the word. Happy Thanksgiving, no, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day, y'all. I hope you're enjoying yourselves with your families right now, even though this Thanksgiving is a few days away. Have a great holidays, and uh, yeah. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. We out.